Hello, my name is Shadalia, and welcome back to another episode of How to Run 3 as PRC in Black Eyes version 12. So, in previous episodes, we managed to encircle Nanjing. We haven't taken that yet, we haven't even started attacking, quite frankly, yet. But we are running a little bit low on some of the strengths of the various units around the flanks. So, we're having to be somewhat careful. But we are still making some headway, and oh, right, okay, they're trying to do counter attacks in here. I'm hoping that what we can do is we can punch the enemy away from. Um, Haiyan. Then we can move in the infantry basically over, or we can push all the way to Wuxi and then we can maybe send some more assistance to Yijing. It's not necessarily going to be easy but I think we can probably manage that. They've still got two units in here. One of them is, uh, well, trying to reinforce. I guess we'll give it a support attack from here now. It's 58% uh, strength so at least we got an extra day in there essentially. But the enemy is probably not going to do all that well with attacks. So uh, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of probing attack there. And then we'll stop that. Will they do a counter attack from those? No. Oh, yes, they will. There we go. They probably ended them immediately, but for the most part, anyway. Well, then one from Nanjing is still going. Or to the southeast is still ongoing. So what we'll do is we'll let them... Um... Oh, there we go. We're going to be winning that combat. Hopefully this one's going to get a bit more reinforcements in the meanwhile. We do also have another unit to place down. Oh, another engineer, even. Oh, well, I'll be. I think what we shall do is we'll place one in here. Then bring this one a bit further back. And then start upgrading another unit. Because all the infantry units that we now have, I believe at least. Yeah, we've got engineers in all of them now. Which, that, which is absolutely great. And now, I suppose, when are we... Oh, we're going to get another engineer in two days. Well, then. Oh, well, there we go. That's a victory. At last. In that case... Oh, these are both a bit of a rough shape right now, so we might not uh, use them too much in combat. Okay, they really are trying to attack the... Mountaineers, but what I can do now is I can send in the... Uh, militia to attack there, so we might be able to get rid of some of these... Uh, Sooner or rather later, and you can give us a support attack. You've got the engineers, so you'll probably be able to deal some damage. And we can get rid of at least one of the uh, garrisons. You know what? Mountaineers will join into that combat. We will take Nundring today. Well, not in game today, but uh, in this episode. Also, that one seems to be kind of abandoned in here. We'll need another three days to move in there, but uh, it's a start. I suppose we'll give one engineer for the. You know, in uh, Shifeng. That will need to be split off uh, eventually from there, but that's alright. How's the battle in here? Oh, we are actually going to win there. Very good. And this one's uh, now kind of combat ready. It's not really ready to attack, mind you, but uh, ready for combat. We are slowly making some headway in the river crossing here as well. Uh, ooh, that was going to have to pull back. That was a disastrous defeat. Not far from getting shattered there. Oh, but the enemy is moving away. Well, that's fine by me then. Right, they're doing some spoiling attacks from the plank, but uh, we are now dealing pretty good damage on Nanjing, so they won't be able to hold on for that too long, I reckon. And we're slowly making our way towards Shanghai after that. Oh, there we go. Oh, Yijing is under attack. Uh, we did cut off... Is that... Right, we got another port from the enemy. There we go. To increase reinforcements a little bit more. We're also going to be getting another artillery soon, which is very handy, especially since that is going to be going mostly for the militias, I reckon. Oh, there we go. Longxiang is going to be ours soon enough. And then I suppose what we can do... Well, especially once we cut that off, we can attack in here. And then we can take that one. There's still not a lot of um, enemy units in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and start moving that one into the Highlands Southwest. Sixth Division. Oh, and there we go. Victory and Nanjing already. So you're going to wait there. Because it might be time to attack across the river from here. As soon as it's uh, able, to, which is going to actually take some time. Oh, but there we go. At least we are re regaining some strength for the units. How's the survive militia? Okay, it's not that far off. It's not ready for combat, mind you, but it's... Uh, I suppose what we could do is we can redeploy it there and you can clear out the uh, Nantong later on. The Mountaineer will probably hold on in here without too many issues. Oh, uh, what do we have now? That's the artillery. I suppose we are actually going to give that... Oh. That already full? No, that's not full. 
It doesn't have the entire tank guns yet either. We will give it to one of the other units then. I believe it went down here, didn't it? Nope. Hold on a minute. Is it this one? This one. There we go. So that's at least slightly stronger again. And the infantry division will be done by the end of the month. So we're gaining more and more ground. So as soon as uh, both of these are ready, we'll attack into Ushi. And how's the surrender progress now? It's... Oh, we need one more point. Okay, so it might actually be easy to take Wuhan now that I think of it. These aren't really in a good fighting strength yet. We'll take one of these, start attacking. We can give it a bit of support attack from the flanks. And I suppose, well, that's not really in a good shape yet. We're going to move this one to hold on to the flank, and I suppose that's when they move towards Wuhan. The sooner we win the battle or the war, the better for us. Of course, that won't be the end of the civil war, mind you, but it will be at least the end of the uh, Republic of China then. And then we just need to clear out the warlords, and then we have won. Now, to be fair, as soon as the Republic of China does surrender, we'll get a whole lot of troops from them, and that's going to be a bit of a nuisance to organize all of that. But we kind of do need the troops, so we can't really just uh, disband them. But it's going to be a bit of a nuisance to then rebuild all of it. Or build up all the units, because uh, much of the units that we will be getting from them aren't really a full-on units. Oh, there we go. Definitely pushing towards Wuhan already. I we could give a bit of support attack with the Mountaineer. Aid in the river crossing, and I suppose the other Mountaineer should probably also give a bit of a hand. So now we've got three units in the combat, so that uh, envelopment penalty is going to be quite substantial. And we did already win the battle in Wuxi, so oh, we might actually get to Shanghai before we get to Wuhan. Or we know. Well, they are doing a bit of a spoiling attack, but uh, I don't think that's uh, going to stop us. And another spoiling attack in Yixing. Well, a little bit less reinforcements, but the infantry division is going to be done soon. And I suppose, how much do we get factories? It's only two factories in Nanjing. It's going to be a lot more around Shanghai once we get there. I don't think we have victory in Nanjing. There's not a lot of defenders in Wuhan right now. Now that I see it. Ooh, and there we go, that's another victory to the east. Or Shanghai. Uh, how's the... Okay, that's going to take a while, but... Uh, oh, right, we can't actually move in there. Not yet. With the low strength. I think what we're going to do over here, actually, is uh, as soon as the mountain is ready, we'll start attacking uh, into Wuzhou, so that the other two units can move towards Shanghai, or continue towards Shanghai, and then the militia could probably just clear out the enemy contract over here. It's pretty low on strength and organization, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. Not quite ready to move to Wuhan, but uh, definitely another step closer. And there we go. That's another enemy unit being pushed back. Now, unfortunately, we do need to win this combat first before we can advance further. But that's... Oh, there we go. Well, there's the victory. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and send this one to the east as well. And that one's still a 35% strength. So I think it's uh, around 40% strength or something like that when it can probably start to moving again. Or conquering lands. Speaking of which, uh, right, so we've got this one already at uh, 60, almost 70% actually. That's pretty decent. And we are definitely making some headway to the east, so Shanghai is within our grasp, I reckon. Now we're attacking into Hushu, and that's going to be a little bit um, hard of combat in there with the tanks. We've got the piercing attack, so it's not that bad. Oh, there we go, we did get across the river at least. Uh, it's now under attack, but I think we can probably hold on to that. Also move that one in. Maybe this could... Well, it's going to actually just hold in there for now. And then I guess what we'll do is we'll take Wuhan and win the war. Well, win this particular conflict. There's still, of course, more wars to come. Oh, is the party rally... No, no, no. We can't do that one yet. I think we're going to conserve some of the strength on various units uh, until we get either to Shanghai, which isn't defended very strongly. And now, to be fair, it's a garrison defending... Uh, is it a river crossing? No, it's not a river crossing. Okay. But it's a somewhat fortified city, I reckon. So it's not necessarily the... E no, it's actually... It's sometimes pedal boxes or nothing like that. Okay. Well, regardless, we are making some headway in there. And how many... Oh, we got another three factories. Well, there we go. Uh, do we, no, actually, we do need to have a little bit more extra supply production. Keep it at 10, but the reinforcements are going to go down and upgrade. We get the reinforcements in here, so I suppose that could give a support attack. So Shanghai or Wuhan? One of the... Oh, actually, Wuhan we're already heading towards. So soon, we will have our victory. 
Uh, yeah, they're losing uh, the organization fairly quickly. We got a little bit of shortage. Well, not a shortage yet, but we have gained a lot of expansion or extension to our military recently. So uh, we are going to need a bit more recruitment for officers. Now we are got already got a decent. Oh, there's victory in Shanghai. Okay, and who's who? I think Wuhan is going to be the first one to fall. Although they, mm, no, actually Shanghai might be the first one because this one's a faster unit. And it's not a long distance. A good infrastructure levels in here, so that makes quite a difference. And it's a bit of a lag spike there. It sometimes happens. Well, they got reinforcements in Shanghai, so Wuhan is going to be the one that will break the enemy. Because we are there very shortly, I presume. Like, if not today, then tomorrow morning. Oh, there we go. So, that is going to be the end of that war. Ooh, more supplies. Oh, we didn't actually gain units from there. Okay. Oh, huh, I thought we would. Well, that's fine. Uh, where's the... Ah, so it would be under that core. Sure. Our well, first uh, new infantry division. I guess we can start advancing uh, a decent bit against... Uh... So here's the question, though. Who are we going to attack or try to defeat first? And with what troops? So looks like uh, Kuang League probably lost a lot of their troops in the wars. They are going to be taking a lot of land in here, so I think what we'll do is we'll start with taking the proper or the first core down here. So we'll take one over there. Who's the... I suppose these two are the ones that are going to be the best options to go down south. So one goes there. Another one goes here. There we go, so that will cover a bit of the uh, front there. We'll start at least advancing to Kuang Shikli. And then we can take another core of uh, maybe the militias. Or the surviving militia, I suppose. We'll bring that one to uh, Shangde. And then I guess we'll send in the surviving militia over there. And the other militias can... try to group up around... the rest of the area here. We're willing to give up some of the territory uh, briefly before we then push them back further. Uh, so over here, I think what we're going to do is uh, we'll... Oh, this was already pretty much full strength. There we go. I'm just going to move in. Move, um, actually. Go ahead and move this one down to Chungking. Unless we... Yeah, no, we didn't have anyone going there yet. We do have another... Oh, right, so there's the second core. Which is a bit of a mess, admittedly, with the troops. Uh, well, if we take that one, uh, we take away the unit currently in upgrading. And the militias can move at least slightly closer in here. So we've got someone going in there already. We'll probably move in two units for that one. And Shengdu. And then Kunyang. So slowly but surely, we're going to be taking all of this. But now we're going to probably get quite a bit more area. Plus, we can start researching a lot of the naval stuff. So submarines will probably get at least some. Uh, transport ships for sure. Uh, we'll start working on getting the small ships or destroyers and such. We'll probably get some cruiser stuff as well. There we go. And then... I'm not going to go for capital ships or carriers. We're going to start getting the fleet actually carrier doctrine. Just for the naval underwear replenishment. We need that one. Then sea lane defense is quite handy and auxiliary submarine doctrine. So we'll unlock a lot of the things. We don't have any of the air stuff yet. And a lot of the... Other texts as well are still going to have to wait. But now we've got at least a bit larger base of industry. Well, it hasn't started yet, but uh, or it hasn't recalculated yet. But it will soon. And we've got a lot of troops on the move. We've got another... Right, I suppose that is being upgraded. This one... Oh, right. I suppose we could send it down here somewhere. Get some more troops uh, towards uh, Yunnan. I mean, Yunnan probably doesn't have that much of an army. But they didn't lose much in the war either, I don't think. We've still got wars going on in there, plus uh, everyone's fighting each other still. Oh, we got a mine in this. Okay. Oh, right. Military Academy. Well, let's get that one. I think... Oh, we can make a giant infrastructure project. I think we might want to start with... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Can we make a university? Mm, not yet. No. Hold on. So we haven't got on the first level of the monumental architecture yet. How far are we from that? It's... Still relatively far away. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
invest into the railroad. We'll go get a synthetic plant. Oh. You know what? I will take that. We can get a lot more resource production that way. It will cost us a little bit in industry, but uh, I think that's going to be mostly fine. And then I suppose... Oh, but now we don't have the supplies for... Okay. Well, we'll probably have a decent uh, supply of production soon enough. So we don't need to worry about it too much right now. We have no... Actually, how's the... Well, there's no revolt risk right now, actually. I'm a little bit surprised by that. So I guess we're going to advance in there. Uh, this could probably take over the garrison. Oh, there we go. Horses. So supply throughput is increased. We've got shipyards. More small arms factory, automotive factories, artillery factories. We get a whole lot of things in here. And now we've got... Oh, oh, suddenly, a lot more production. we go and reduce the supply production to like 12, I see, for the time being. So we'll get a, a lot of extra. But it's uh, not too much wasted, necessarily. So we've got a lot of uh, production, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and get some convoys. Get another 40 convoys. And then since we didn't actually inherit any new units, I'm just going to go ahead and get another six of these. The mix support uh, divisions. So we'll slowly get some better units underway. And I suppose we do not have any armored units available yet. Well, I suppose what we could do is we could build something slightly heavier. But we don't actually have any heavy artillery or heavy artillery or anything like that. So there's not that much that we can do. We don't have any armor units available yet. The only thing that we can get is semi-motorized infantry, and that's not really that much better. Although, I suppose what we could do is we get some more mountaineer infantry, for example. It won't have uh, that creative units necessarily. Actually, we don't need the Division HQ. If we build two of these, because we got the two Division HQs already extra, that will allow us to get at least some more mountaineers. I'm sure that we'll probably want to have at least one full core of mountaineers. So that will be a decent bit of time to build it. That will be mostly okay. Do we still... Oh, we still got some production available. Okay. I guess we can just go ahead and get a... Another regular infantry division as well. Although, for this one, I'm actually going to switch to the motorcycle recall already. I'm going to save that template. So, it at least will have the motorcycle recall now on. Which will be slightly better. Well, the combat stats-wise is not that much better, but it reduces the softness a lot. It has a higher speed and it reduces less supplies, but a bit of fuel in, uh, instead. So it's a bit of a mixed match there in that regard. Yeah, we'll get another one of these. Is that going to be... That's now just about enough. So how much factories did they have in here? Oh, Shanghai's quite a bit. Yeah, they've got a lot of factories in here. Do we have any heavy industries yet? I don't think we do. At least we haven't got the modifier, so the answer is probably no. I don't think we need to buy energy right now. We might have a bit of supply issue. Oh, right, you should be part of the core over there as well. I guess we can go ahead. I'm just going to send you down to the middle front here. That's a little bit surely start making some progress. So we don't have a fleet. Uh, we could maybe start building a few torpedo boats, but it's not necessarily going to be all that massive yet. Plus, we have basically no text in there. <laughs> so probably best to wait. Uh, right, so we're going to get some more troops in here. We'll get to Ping Liang with the unit. Ooh, large. Okay, so we lost a lot, bit of leadership, but I suppose we did get quite a bit more in uh, leadership total. So we can now do about six uh, officers. We can probably reduce the espionage a tiny bit, back to half a point. And then we can get a little bit more research. Diplomacy points, we still got a bit of extra. We are about to get some more supply production, by the way, so that's going to be quite handy. But it will take some time before our troops, uh, or newly formed up troops, will get to the front lines, but uh, luckily the enemy doesn't have too much troops on the front lines right now either, so we should be able to advance mostly unopposed. Suppose we could also go ahead and attack the... oh, that's out of organization. Well then. Uh, so how close is... Uh, well, I suppose they haven't lost any VPs yet. They got uh, about 72% uh, um, unity. Ah, but we need all three points to make uh, CBAs and mass surrender. We'll get to that eventually. Ah, oh, there we go. Tungsten surplus. So we don't necessarily need to invest into more tungsten. Ah, industrial production advance and efficiency advance and ammunition production advance. So now if we have a look at the industry, so there's definitely at least... Well, the ammunition... Oh, there's additional supplies. Hold on a minute. That's 1938. We can cancel that one. But the production and efficiency would need to go back to the top of the list. And we'll get some more military rations. So uh, the supply production will start uh, ballooning quite a bit soon enough. 
And that allows us to then build up the um, railroad tycoons and other things soon enough. Oh, losing a bit of ground over there. Well, that's to be expected. We'll retake it. Now, Yunnan is probably going to be the last one of these particular three to stand. We'll have it eventually. Uh, right, we're not going to do those. We're going to reduce the reinforcements and upgrades. And I guess we need to get some more troops. I suppose one of the things that we could do is uh, upgrade things like this. like Make that into light infantry. And we actually need even more than that. Well, all right then. Do we have any more units that are upgradable right now? I mean, maybe. I think another thing that I could... Oh, wait, no, I don't have the tech for that. Never mind. I was thinking about starting to fortify at least Tianjin in Beijing a little bit, and maybe a little bit on the border with Japan and Minjian, but uh, that's probably not going to be the case right now then. I suppose one of the things that we might want to do is get some... It's uh, probably not going to be the best units. We'll get some garrisons to uh, hold on to the... Force at least. So at least anti-air artillery and garrison will be already decent. That's um, not really that great of combat abilities. Uh, but let's have a look. Before we start building those, how many ports do we need to protect? One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, so 17. I think we'll make 18 just in case. Or maybe we'll make 20. Just to have a few extras. So that will cost us quite a bit of manpower, mind you, but we'll get that back in due time. I mean, my manpower increase right now is uh, 70 per month. That's actually pretty amazing. Oh, that's China for you, I suppose. Uh, right, so I'm going to start advancing in there. We'll probably go ahead and push back this uh, militia as well. At least keep it busy until the reinforcements arrive. Oh, there's more supply production. Excellent. That one can go ahead and get to Lingxia. And Lanshu is probably going to... Um, we can probably start attacking that soon enough. Troops are still on the move. Luckily, Quang should click. They probably lost most of their troops in the fight against the Nationalists, but then now that they are able to retake some lands, it will take some time for them to get actually to the front line. Which is fine by me. I give this um, mixture unit artillery already, and then one of the militias. Oh, actually, the communist militia over there didn't have one yet. I'm slowly pushing through the enemy front lines into the hills, in Jibes and Mar. And I think, oh right, we got this one. Oh, we just got the artillery in here. Right, I see what happened. We should be able to break through the enemy lines uh, fairly easily in the north. In the south, it's just a matter of uh, getting the troops to the front line, and then we can start pushing in. But that might take some time. Export tungsten? Oh, sure, I'll take some money. And actually, that means that we could probably go ahead and invest into tungsten. Yeah, we'll do that one. Also, I guess what we'll do is we'll take some civilian fleet. Probably won't be using that too much. We'll take what we can. But it's uh, good to have some transports available. Even though they are going to be a bit rubbish at first. It will cause a little bit of industry, but we've got a fairly good uh, industrial base at this point. So I'm not too concerned about it. Begin the Great Officer Purge. Alright then. Silence a bit busy. Ah, there we go. Synthetic entry complete. Oh, Tai Yuan, get that. Okay. Fair enough. So now we'll get some events to start expanding. It will cost us a lot of industrial efficiency. We can basically get a whole lot of productions in here. So we're going to go ahead and start to... Especially the coal field is something we can probably build up. The steel refineries we can build up. We can't actually get the rare extraction yet at all. And I guess we could also build up the industry in there just for the heck of it. Uh, do we have a lot of money? Not really, so I don't actually want to buy too much rare materials yet. Or use convoys for that matter. Let's go ahead and get our ships probably into Shanghai for now. <laughs> Once we prepare for a war against the Japanese, we'll probably move these somewhere else. But we won't start the war against them quite yet. But at least uh, the Marco Polo bridge incident won't happen. Now that the Republic of China doesn't exist. Okay, so there's some... Oh, it's mostly headquarters in Lanzhou. Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and attack there with the... Communist militia to clear out the enemy. Second London Naval Treaty. Uh, sure, we'll sign the treaty. And manufacturing plant in Shangsha. Get the resource production again. And do... No, we don't have any supp oh, enough supplies yet. For what we have in mind. Oh, there we go. Victor Jingji. 
Oh, I've got another infantry. Oh, right, this is the this is the fresh one, right? Okay, well we're gonna start moving it along with the other troops, but it won't necessarily take part in a combat quite yet. Oh dear, I'm starting to lose the ground in the south. But I suppose our reinforcements are well. It's gonna take a little while actually. Although at least we're getting closer. How are we looking on? Oh, right. we do need quite a bit of resource actually. So I suppose another thing that I could do, let's have a look at our economy. The so energy, where's the highest? Changxi is the highest. And Nanjing is actually pretty good as well for coal production. So let's go ahead and get the uh, coal fields over there. And then this one? Yes, that one. We can get a lot more energy production already. And that will be rather handy. We should be breaking through the enemy lines there. Oh, payment received. There we go. Now we've got 8,000. Oh, Oh, that's starting to be pretty good. So yeah, getting some taxes increases is going to be a lot of money for us. And that will basically take away a lot of the concerns that we might be having usually. Oh, research center. There we go. So we're getting a little bit extra research then. Speaking of which, so we've got a 36 uh, research process going on at the same time. So it's about one third of what we need. It's not a huge amount, but it does help. Oh, right. Improved coal liquidation is something we might want to do. Maybe we'll get the electro welding at least a few levels. Maybe later on we'll get the heavy armor forging for fleets, but right now fleets are not really a priority. Okay, we're slowly punching through the enemy headquarters in here. And where's the... Is it Tianshu? I believe it, Tianshu is the... Yeah, that's the VP there. Right, well, we are getting a little bit closer to it, at least with some of the troops. Actually, I can probably go ahead and redeploy in here. Right, a bit more cover for the uh, factories that we have there. There we go, that's the first research lab that we've got on. And it's still going to take a while for the reinforcements to arrive from the Shanghai region. But they're on their way, they're on their way. Also, this should probably be a sign on the Mao. So we've got two custom uh, naval commanders. Which, to be fair, are probably going to be commanding like torpedo boats or submarines. Which are, technically speaking, the same thing in terms of how the game engine um, treats them. But uh, yeah, we'll probably have them... Uh, take care of those and then the other naval commanders can take care of the rest I'm not going to be buying any resources right now oh but we do have the supplies now to do the railroad tycoon well, let's get that out of the way a little bit a bit costly is instead of supply or is, especially in supplies and metal and I suppose in money as well but it's money isn't that bad right now for us so the enemy is cutting us off in there, but we have at least gotten some troops in here. How soon can we attack? Uh, it's going to take a while. I guess what I can do is uh, to buy some time. Redeploy these. Since they've still got the delay, might as well redeploy. As long as there's no enemy. Oh, right. Xinjiang broke a trade agreement with us. As long as there's no enemy too nearby. Hey, there we go. Railroad tycoon. So more supply throughput and IC efficiency it goes up by 2%. A bit less reinforcements are needed. That's also quite handy. We do need a, quite a bit of uh, things now for... Oh, you know what? I'm going to buy some energy from uh, Japan for the time being. That takes most of the money that we have, so won't be doing too much w without that now. But uh, that's all right. At least we get started. There we go. Victoria Lanzhou. I'm actually going to go ahead and move that one in there. That can stay in here to be ready to move uh, further west. Which, to be fair, is going to be... Oh, there we go. Victoria Hanzhou. So, Jibes and Ma is probably going to be the first one to fall. Although, after that, it's probably going to be Kwangshu's League, because our troops are now arriving to the front line. They don't really have that many troops to resist our advancing, so we can just, you know, go through their territories and just annex them once more. And the Yunnan is going to be a bit rougher, because it's a bit rougher terrain. It's a lot of mountains, so that will take some time to just really move through, really. Beyond that, it's not too bad. I guess uh, the infantry could go ahead and move into Lanshu. And the enemy is pulling back from Tianshu as well. So we will be getting um, probably most of this sooner or later. But I do see that we are actually out of time with this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, get the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.